So how many of you have changed your air filter or went to somebody and changed your air filter and then leave after your oil change and then all of a sudden a PO171 code pop up kinds of things. But a lot of people change their air filters and do their maintenance and stuff at home and they don't know what they just did. You see what I just did when I took this air filter box and I turned it way up here like this to pull it out? All that debris that sits in that air box and on top of that filter ends up over here on top of the mass airflow. And it actually creates more resistance in that wire and sets a mass airflow code. It's to unscrew the main hose clamp to the air box and actually tip everything out, try to get the debris out of it. But the best way to do it is to actually take the security screws and the little torch things right here and pull the mass airflow out and just like take a white piece of paper and tap on it and you'll see the debris. Don't beat on it, but just tap on it. You'll see the debris come out of it. A lot of times you can plug it back in and it's fine. Clear your code or whatever and, and you'll be okay. If you don't have a code um, scanner to clear everything, then you'll have to do so many key cycles and then it'll go away. But a lot of times guys, they'll grab their air box and they don't keep their stuff clean inside and they'll go to tip it up and they'll take all that debris and they'll tip it back on top of that mass airflow or you'll get your oil change and one of the young guys maybe forget sometimes and it'll be back on the sensor and that's one of the main reasons why after doing your oil changes or your general services or going to a quick lube place this type of stuff happens now you'll see here i have a t20 and this t20 fits exactly inside those torps so now i'm going to pull those out of there and show you how to clean it so remember how you pull it off in case they're not indexed, but here there's a little indexing mark that only goes in one specific way, right here on the bottom where my thumb's at. Now I'm gonna show you how to clean these. All right, so we just took this out. And now, look at all that, ch those chunks falling out. That right there came out of the inside. What you're looking for is you're looking for that little fine filament right there they actually make a cleaner spray a mass airflow cleaner you can spray in there clean this off real good put it back in this is also another way to make your vehicle run better because over time debris and stuff like this gets caught up inside that sensor and ends up reading a higher resistance. Three gets on them and causes resistance to go up and it makes it think things are actually a certain way when they're really not. That's how to clean them. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and reinstalled. And make your uh, engine run better as well. So not only can this cause a mass airflow code to set after like an oil change or a general service, just cleaning this in general can actually make the vehicle run a little bit better and get better fuel mileage.